It is that time of year where sadly enough summer is over, but the good news is that it's soup season and I love soups, especially if they're easy and they're filling. Um, Go-to is always just a nice, rich, wholesome, thick soup. And today we're making a mushroom soup, super simple. You'll love it. I know your family will as well. We're gonna go ahead and start by getting my stovetop hot. I'm gonna put a little bit of cooking oil in. Make sure you're using a, a higher temp. I'm using flax. You can use olive oil, whatever oil you like. Go ahead and put a couple tablespoons of that inside. I'm using um, leek today. I don't know, something about leeks and soup just work for me. You can use yellow onion as well, white onion, any kind of onion, but I'm using a whole leek. Typically, I would slide my knife down the side, rinse it out, get all the extra dirt out, but uh, I've checked it and it looks perfectly fine. So we're gonna go ahead and slice that up until the green stem. And begin sauteing the leek in the hot oil. I'm also going to go ahead and use three cloves of garlic. You can use more or less, it's totally up to you. I love garlic though, I don't know about you. And garlic's so healthy for you. I think we've spoken before about the health benefits of garlic and garlic is a prebiotic. So a prebiotic is what you need in your tummy to feed the probiotics when you consume the probiotics. So a couple of cloves of garlic. This time of year, I was able to get my hands on some beautiful Russian garlic out here in the valley. We have lots of farmers who grow beautiful Russian garlic, so I'm always inclined to buy a bunch of that, and that usually gets me through the fall as well. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna do four of the garlic, and we'll get that stirring. Mushrooms. I have a whole array of mushrooms here. I'm gonna use just regular white mushrooms, but you can be adventuresome and include any kind of mushrooms that you like. I've used a lot, a good, I don't know, four, five cups of mushrooms. Slice them nice and thin. The thinner they are, you'll be able to saute them a lot faster. So we'll get those going as well and begin the process of reducing them down. You can see how many I have in here right now, lots. And you may have to add a touch more oil on top because the mushrooms will soak it all up. You'll actually see the oil come back out and float on the top of the soup once you add your broth, etc., inside. Okay, we're gonna get that going. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt, put a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of pepper. Leeks, I don't know, leeks have a tremendous aromatic smell to them. I absolutely adore them. Let's talk about the broth. This is the vegan, non-vegan part. If you are vegan, go ahead and use a vegetable broth. If you're not, then go ahead and use a beef or chicken stock. I love bone broth. Bone broth is so healthy for you. I buy them at the local butcher and I put them in my slow cooker, top them up with water, some onion, some carrots, some celery. And I let them cook for days, like literally two days. And by the end of it, the bones are bleached white. There's nothing left, marrow's gone, and every single mineral that I could possibly get out of it is now in my bone broth. So here I've made, I probably got about four of these, and I put them in the freezer, and when it's time to make a beautiful soup on a busy after school um, afternoon or on a Sunday afternoon, I have my bone broth already made. But again, if you're a vegan, go ahead and just use your, your own vegetable broth. So that's reduced maybe in half. I'm gonna go ahead and put the broth inside and then bring it to a boil. That's about 
four, four cups of broth in there. And then I'm gonna also add some cashew. I'll get my lid here. Some um, raw cashew nuts. What you're gonna do is in order to, I'm adding this for the nutritional benefits. Um, cashews have a great fat in them as well. They're higher in calorie, but they've got a great fat, super healthy for you. When you use them in a soup, go ahead and soak them in really hot water for about a half an hour or in cold regular tap water overnight. And they absorb a bunch of the water, become very soft and make it very easy to puree. So this is about a cup of cashews I'm gonna add in there. And um, coconut milk, not milk, coconut cream. Be sure that you buy the cream and not the milk. I'm gonna do a half a can of coconut cream. I'm gonna use some tamari soy sauce. I'm going to use some miso, any miso of your choice and I'm going to add a little bit of tarragon as well. So go ahead and add two tablespoons of the miso paste. And about two teaspoons of the tamari soy sauce. and about a teaspoon of tarragon. Tarragon and cream soups, something about it tastes amazing. I also, it's a mandatory for me to have tarragon inside of my quiche as well. Okay, give that a stir. And when we come back from the commercial break, you're going to see this beautiful soup. It's gonna boil for about 15 minutes, covered. It'll be soft enough and everything will be cooked. I can go ahead and puree it and get it ready to serve to my hungry guests. See you in a few minutes. Welcome back. Okay, the soup has been boiling for a good 15 minutes. I'm not minding that mine is reducing because my uh, bone broth was not salted, so I don't mind the flavors intensifying. So it is nicely thickening up. During the commercial break, I added a quarter cup of ground flaxseed um, meal, and that cooked for another five minutes, which allowed it to thicken even a little bit more. I also added a few tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast, whether you're a vegan or not, get it and make stuff with it. It is the best stuff ever as far as flavoring. I use it for um, a, it's called a golden, um, golden, golden, what's it called? Golden, it is a golden something salad dressing. It's on our website as well. It's my favorite salad dressing. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in front here. Be wary that it's boiling hot and bubbling as you go ahead and get your mixer and begin the process of pureeing. So go ahead and puree as much or as little as you want. Or you know what, if you don't want to puree it, the, where, the way it is right now is totally fine as well with the nice thinly sliced mushrooms. I'm gonna go ahead and puree mine up. If you wanted to use a blender, just be extra careful that it is very, very hot and it will spit back on you. about the consistency that I want it. So we'll go ahead and remove the mixer out of the way. And I am going to top my soup with um, a couple of things. I'm going to take some beautiful cilantro and put it on top. If you want, you could have some dill, you could have parsley, you can put whatever you want on top. I just like a little bit of green for color. I'm also going to put some cheese on top. 
Normally I would use goat's cheese. Today I was in the supermarket and I saw this beautiful cheese from a local vegan company. It's a vegan cheese and it's made from organic tofu and organic coconut oil and um, apple cider vinegar and other spices. And so we'll see how that tastes on top of the soup. That actually tastes really good. I'm impressed. And anyone who knows me knows that I'm not, I'm a lover of bread, but I don't eat a lot of it. But if you see the bread that I got here, it has figs in it and some garlic in it. So I couldn't resist in getting some of this as well. It's pureed nicely. Another way to thicken a soup is if you use um, cauliflower. It's a nice trick also to make a nice thick soup. The flax seed is giving you a nice dose of omegas. It's a great roughage and it blends in quite nicely and thickens your soup perfectly. I have a lot of hungry people standing behind the camera looking, wondering if they get some free taste testers after this. Okay. Just a little bit of some greenery on top. Cheese as well. It smells so good. And here you have a very healthy, very nutritious, and very delicious soup that I know your whole family is going to love. For the recipe, go online to our website for all the information on how to make this soup and other soups. I'm gonna dig in. See you next time.